Okay. That is exactly what I wanted to <laughs> to an alien just warming up the vocal cords getting ready to do this okay brother let's go nothing tickles my balls quite like an epic space adventure insane vr graphics and really good climbing mechanics <laughs> but how well does hubris vr really execute those three things i have seen so many reviews out right now for this game comparing its graphics to half-life alex and I'm not sure I can 100% agree with that. So in this video, I am going to be giving you guys my honest opinion on Hubris VR and whether or not I think it is really worth buying. Let's jump into the video. Enjoy. <laughs> I have absolutely zero intention of sugarcoating any of this, but I will start out with a positive. The art direction for Hubris is extremely good. I enjoyed looking at every single environment, weapon, and enemy in this game, but, and this is a big old fat butt, I was let down by the graphics. I came in expecting Half-Life Alex lovely immersion and ended up getting punched right in the dick. Now that's not to say Hubris doesn't have good graphics because it most certainly does. I just don't think that they are at the level of Half-Life Alex. Up close, everything is a pretty high resolution, but objects, people, and scenery tended to look pretty blurry from a distance. Is it just me or does that look like a giant ass crack? <laughs> God damn right. The graphics? Oh no, no, no! The graphics aren't really that amazing, if I'm being honest. Uh, oh, excuse me. Jingle bell, jingle bell, stick on my cock. Oh my God. If you're new to this channel, I'll let you in on a little secret. I absolutely love climbing shit in VR games, and this is where hubris really shines. A key game mechanic for traversing the sci-fi landscape and completing puzzles is climbing. Pipes, boxes, rocks, ropes made out of alien tentacles, and my personal favorite, ladders, can all be climbed to help you progress through the game. But not only that, you get to swim during different sections of hubris, upgrade your weapon using a 3D printer, loot resources hidden around the environment, and even eat mysterious alien fruits. Now these positives seem to be stacking up, right? Not so fast, because there is one big problem with the gameplay in hubris VR. Okay miss, I'm going to be making a small 8 inch incision right between your taint and your asshole. So it'll be basically one big long asshole, okay? No! Let's hope she'll make it. <laughs> I honestly don't think so, but yeah, let's hope. <laughs> If you want a game where the enemy AI outmaneuvers you at almost every turn, constantly keeping you filled to the brim with satisfying combat, then Hubris VR probably isn't the game for you. I constantly came across enemies that would almost intentionally avoid taking any form of cover and stand in plain sight, practically begging me to end their lives. The only combat tactic that enemies in this game know is to overwhelm you all at once. And even then, 90% of the time, you should be able to handle yourself. I haven't even mentioned there is a major lack of enemy diversity in hubris, which more often than not makes the combat feel very repetitive. Hello there. Oh my god. Look at your green eyes, they're so beautiful. Oh fuck! Ah! I don't know where I felt like I get a little drink around here, do you, bud? You're looking pretty fucked up, ma'am. I remember the first time I had a beer. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> uh, there isn't enough room for all of us. She was unconscious. Are you sure we should have let him go with her alone? This doesn't feel good. Oh, <laughs> I am almost positive he's going to fu- The sound effects for hubris are pretty standard, which doesn't mean that they are bad. They just aren't anything special or out of the ordinary, like we see in most VR games. You get a very satisfying splatter noise when shooting giant alien ticks and squid. The sound when shooting guns is very punchy, and overall sound design pretty well done. The only thing that I would have liked is more music to really set the tone for intense battles during certain sections of the game. A lot of the 
time, it felt like I was just going on a brisk walk through the park. Murdering enemies without pump-up music tends to feel pretty damn boring. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, this game isn't really wowing me yet. It really isn't. There's a lot left to be desired. I have not sodomized a single alien yet. Come on, everybody! Sodomy! This is not what I paid for. Looks like that control panel over there could be used to move that container. I hadn't thought of that for even a second. I'm just over here with my thumbs up my ass and a 70 IQ. <laughs> In Hubris VR, you play as a fresh recruit for the Order of Objectivity, a powerful faction dedicated to terraforming alien planets in order to populate and preserve the human race. You are tasked with searching for a fellow agent lost on a twin planet in a distant star system. But it seems that a hostile faction has gotten there first. You must fight your way through enemy soldiers, alien bugs, drones, and lethal squid in order to save the lost agent. Ultimately, the story for Hubris is very solid, but unfortunately, the dialogue with NPCs seems to completely overlook the extremely dark narrative of the game. NPC interactions were honestly pretty damn funny at times. You meet one dude who just witnessed all of his friends get murdered, and yet he sounds extremely f***ing calm the entire time that you talk to him. That cable is clearly made from some organic substance. Is this an alien's cock? No question about it. Why is this so slippery and yet sticky at the same time? Scanning, okay. Covered in cum, you say? <laughs> Let the boy watch. Let's get after it, eh? Yow! Cut out! At this point, I don't even need any more tentacles. I just love killing. What the actual f is this thing? You ain't never seen nobody with a long dick. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. I know that it sounds like I've just been roasting the shit out of Hubris VR this entire video, but in all honesty, it is still a very good game. It only costs around $40, and I think that is a very fair price for what you're getting. Hubris kind of reminds me of going to see a movie, only to find out that the best parts of the movie were all shown in the trailer. The movie is still good, but it doesn't really satisfy your expectations. I am going to give Hubris VR a 7 out of 10. It is a very fun game, and I love the sci-fi vibes, but there was still a lot left to be desired, in my opinion. For the $40 price tag, I would say this game is definitely worth it. Just don't come in thinking you'll be experiencing Half-Life Alex level quality. Show us your medical skills. <sighs> Show you my cock, okay. <laughs> wow, all right. I've never had an audience like this before, but... <sighs> what do you think? Do you know what date it is, ma'am? No, it is not 9 She's obviously concussed pretty severely. Anything you need him to suck, he will suck. <laughs> well, that is the end of the video. I realize that I am posting this video on Christmas. So if you're watching, Merry Christmas, dude. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. I hope you get everything you wanted for Christmas and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Nope. Oh. Use the forceps to pull out the object. Don't worry, I am like a master commander of pulling out. <laughs> That's actually not true, but... <laughs>